So Rare have just revealed their 2024 roadmap for seasons 12, 13 and 14. And let me just say, it is absolutely incredible and I love the way that this game is going. I love the fact that they're doing all this and all these updates. So first of all, I just want to say I've been on holiday, so I haven't been making videos about the anniversary update. Uh, well, not anniversary update, but you know what I mean. The six-year anniversary and this, basically, this uh, massive announcement. And also the announcement of Sea of Thieves coming to PlayStation 5, which I'll talk about quickly. I think this is pretty good because I, I don't really know how to feel about it in the respect that I play on Xbox and I don't have a PC, which means that there's not really a reason for people to have Xboxes uh, now in, in the respect that PlayStation has insane exclusives like Spider-Man, Detroit Become Human, God of War, games like that, which I want to buy a PS like four. I want to buy it because of that. But Xbox now with with Sea of Thieves being on PlayStation, that was I think the big exclusive. Uh, obviously Halo, but Halo's not as it's not the game it was. Uh, and Forza is all right. I think Sea of Thieves is the defining game of Xbox, and for them to now put on PS, it's a bit annoying in terms of there's no real reason to buy Xbox now. You just get a, get a PC and a PlayStation. But I, I think it's really good that PlayStation players can now experience this game because it's a brilliant game. And it'd be not nice. excited to see all the new players. And I can't wait to do Hourglass because it can be so easy. Anyway, now I'll get into the actual update. Well, not update, but them talking about the updates. So the next season, season 12, there's a lot coming which Rare have revealed, including new weapons. Finally, for the first time in over six years, we'll be getting new weapons to Sea of Thieves, a double-barreled pistol and throwing knives. Now, throwing knives are pretty cool, pretty cool concept, especially with the idea of stealth. That is coming in a later update, apparently. And the double barrel pistol is pretty cool. I can definitely see myself using that. I think it's a cool, like, a way to be a pistol and a shotgun because you can charge it up and you can also fire two shots separately. I think it is really useful. I think it is a really, really cool gun and a really cool idea. And throwing knives, I think, will be a little bit ineffective unless, you know, until stealth comes out because don't bring it after a gunfight, basically. Now, they're also adding a long-requested feature. You can now walk along harpoons like a tightrope. Uh, there are some angles where you won't be able to walk up and some where you can only walk down, for example. This is so cool. This is a really, really cool addition. The fact you can walk on chess, like walk on them with chess is incredible. It's exceptional. It's a really great idea. Um, and it, may, it makes for really cool kind of shipboarding mechanics, maybe a way to, to get up to a place faster. And I think it's just brilliant. Now, they're also adding scattershot cannonballs, which are a bit weird. I mean, I don't really know how to feel about this. It puts quite a lot of holes into your ship. It puts, I believe, three holes into your ship per shot, um, but level one holes. And it means you have to use a lot of resources. What this means is, I think this is kind of the end of, uh, of solo sleepers. This is terrible for them. Uh, I'm a mainly solo sleeper. This is going to be so tough to deal with if a big ship puts like four or five uh, scatter shot cannibals into you um they're also adding a thrower bolt which spawns skeletons which fight on your side which is really cool i think it kind of definitely fits with players who are playing on like flame hearts side uh and reapers side i think it's really cool and um, i think it's brilliant zip lines are getting added to some massive islands which is huge um i think that's really cool as well really cool little sandbox mechanic they're adding and they're also adding massive new anti-cheats and having a new specialised anti-cheat team as well as trying to fix hit reg and all that stuff, which I think is a brilliant step in the right direction. And I'm really glad that they're kind of cleaning the game up. Now in season 13, they've basically revealed that the coolest thing I've ever seen in Sea of Thieves is going to be added. And Flameheart will be returning with the new Burning Blade, which looks incredible. Now this entire new world event, which is basically where you hunt down Flameheart's ship, is such a cool me mechanic on its own and if it had just been fighting the ship i'd have been like yeah this is great but once you've beaten it once you've defeated the ship you can opt to either obviously take the loot and sink it or you can opt to board it and become a part of flameheart's crew and sail this ship and you basically become a player world event as this is still going to be up in the world you'll be sailing around you have to complete quests for flameheart i think it is absolutely incredible and this is the most excited i've ever been for any feature added in cfe since launch the ship has 10 cannons, which obviously means that if you're a solo sleeper, it's a bit irrelevant. But if you're a galleon, it's so called 10 cannons, which is insane. Um, it's got a flamethrower on the front of the ship, like Blackbeard ship in Pirates of the Caribbean, which is insane. A front-facing weapon, a flamethrower, unbelievable. And they're adding loads of skeleton camps around the map, which have temples under these with loads of puzzles, which you can complete normally. You don't have to be on this ship, but you can find these orbs of secrets um, which give the Burning Blade more power if you're crewing this ship, makes it more powerful, makes it um, have more valuable loot on board. And this is, this is exceptional. I can't actually 
kind of emphasize how excited I am for this feature. The ship looks insane, and this could open opportunities maybe for bigger ships added that players can crew in general. Now, they're also adding Stealth Cosmetics in Season 14. Season 14, they haven't really released too much about because it's quite far away, but they're adding Stealth Mechanics. Finally, I love Stealth games. I'm a massive Metal Gear fan. Uh, I use Stealth if I can in any game I play. It's such a cool mechanic. And now they're adding Crouching, Hanging Off Ships, and a really cool feature, which they say was inspired by Metal Gear, which I'm really happy that they're inspired by Metal Gear to, uh, and adding this. And you can hide in chests, potentially, and move around in them. So you can get in a chest, like a cardboard box of Metal Gear, you can hide in it, stop, move, and players can pick the chests that you're in up and move them. You can hide among loot piles. This could be so, so huge. This is the, the bulk of the stuff that they've, they've said they're going to add um, this year, and I think this is incredible. The fact that they're finally adding a huge new world event, they're adding new content for us to do, um, they're adding so many fixes, adding stealth mechanics, new weapons, they're adding, uh, I believe, a harpoon sniper as well, which I didn't really like the idea of, uh, and a few other things, but I think overall, this is a very, very, very promising roadmap for 2024 and for Sea of Thieves, and I'm really excited to see where where we're at go from this. They've basically said that they're trying to you know, make PvP and ship combat and sandbox and roleplay experiences that much better. And I think they're definitely, definitely close to achieving that. I think this game is incredible. And the amount of progress they've made in the last six months alone after basically being a massive storm of uh, a game which was just very boring, very bland. And they've they've come back with these new features with Season 11, now with Season 12 and 13 and 14, which are going to be unbelievable. And so I'm really excited uh, and happy to see what Rare are doing. But anyway, I hope you kind of enjoyed this bit longer waffle video. Um, I've been trying to make long videos where I just kind of talk about updates and stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and be posting content more regularly. It is just a bit like demotivating because some of my videos kind of just fall off. Uh, they'll get they'll get like a thousand views in like a couple of days and then just stop. So yeah, whatever. It's YouTube. Uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. So yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next one whenever that is. So yeah, peace out.